All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your weekly rant here on the MMA Takeover. Today, we're going to talk cyborgs and Brazilian accents. All right, so Saturday night was UFC 222, and we saw Cyborg destroy yet again another nameless face. Another broad that nobody's fucking heard of coming into this fight, like at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, the lady that she fought was the Invicta bantamweight champion, which is strange because Cyborg said that she did not want to fight Amanda Nunez, the UFC's bantamweight champion, because she wanted to clear out her own division and start fighting girls her size. I don't fucking think so. You fought a broad of a way lesser caliber and it showed. That was fucking disgraceful. That girl got a fucking shot in the gut one time and looked like she wanted to jump over the fucking cage and run the other way. Cyborg is the most overrated fighter of all time. Period. Bar none. Deuce. Mackenzie Dern. <laughs> We've all seen the video, right? Mackenzie Dern's accent goes from Valley Girl to full-on fucking Brazilian. Now, whatever, man. We can debate that staying in Brazil changes your accent. Her dad is Brazilian, so she spent a lot of time there. Fair enough. But Saturday night after her win, they brought, and, and God love him, I love George Gurgel, hometown Ohio boy, I fuck with you, George. They brought George Gurgel in the fucking cage to translate for Mackenzie Dern. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You don't need a translator, Mackenzie. What the fuck? You have not been in fucking Rio, DJ, whatever the fuck for that long. You did not forget how to speak English. How do you say, how do you say bullshit? Bullshit, McKenzie. <laughs> this has been your weekly rant.